High demand for rental properties is driving up the price, making it tough for everyday Tasmanians to find a place to live. It's unaffordable. It means that I'd be paying rent, I wouldn't be able to afford power or food for my kids. Chantel Coleman's been searching for a rental for the past six months. I've been living in hotels, um, lived in a tent, now couch surfing with a two-year-old. The Rental Affordability Index found Hobart is the least affordable city to rent in Australia. The report's lead author says families are worse off now than before and during the pandemic. With all the cities in lockdown, more people found out how amazing it is to live here in Tasmania. Tassie's not the backwater it was. You know, Tassie's on the national scene um, and we're experiencing the, the joys and pain of being recognised like that. In Hobart, the average household is spending around 34% of their income on rent. In regional Tasmania, renters are forking out about 29% of their income. Whenever you're paying 30% or more of your income on rent, you're in a situation of housing stress, and that means there's not enough food any, uh, money anymore to pay for food, transport, uh, education and medical needs. Rental affordability has decreased by around 9%. So, with a limited number of properties and an influx of prospective tenants flooding the market and driving up the price, would-be homeowners are becoming stuck in the rental market. A lot of people are in rentals to save money to buy a house and it's difficult when you're paying four, $500 a week. How do you save um, a deposit on that level? The state government says they're looking to build their way out of the housing crisis. Our expectation is that we'll have 3,500 uh, new homes uh, built by 2027. Um, there's 1,500 under uh, construction now. April McLennan, ABC News.